Louis Dumont as a Source of Sociological Inspiration by Daria Dugina One of the important thinkers who prompted and inspired me to deliver this lecture is the French social anthropologist Louis Dumont, the author of the remarkable book Homo Hierarchicus. Dumont is an outstanding European Indologist, a scholar of hierarchies, castes, and other societal structures who worked in his time with Roger Caillois, Marcel Mauss, and Georges Bataille. He had vast experience in studying the caste-based hierarchical society of India. Dumont is interesting because he was a social anthropologist with an accentuated traditionalist position, which is rare among thinkers in the 20th century and is, alas, almost completely absent in the 21st century. Dumont professed a well-defined macro-narrative that stood for hierarchical society and critiqued modern society from the standpoints of the traditionalist worldview. In the West today, such grand narratives are no longer possible and are even unacceptable. An energetic fragmentation of consciousness is taking place in Western society, one that is deliberately, purposefully and aggressively practiced and supported both in the scientific community and on the level of ordinary laypeople. In our times, university lecturers refrain from any serious generalizations and value judgments, and even more so from projects and setting goals. Louis Dumont engaged in impartially analyzing individualism in the era of modernity and the egalitarian theories built on such principles. According to Dumont, individualism is the antithesis of hierarchy, and it is on individualism that all modern theories of democracy, which Dumont saw as flawed, are based. Louis Dumont is the authority towards which we will orient ourselves today. He is the central character of our lecture, the inspiration and mentor of today's survey. His works Homo Hierarchicus and Homo Aqualis can be found in English, French and even Russian. And so, hierarchy exists whenever something is perceived as a whole, within any holistic model, whether we are talking about the entire cosmos as a whole, a community, collective or society as fully-fledged structures that operate as the measure of things. If the individual becomes the measure of all things, then of course no hierarchy arises. On the contrary, hierarchy is abolished both in theory and in practice. Dumont takes Indian society, which he meticulously and thoroughly studied, as a model and examines its intrinsic system of varna and jati, which are inaccurately generalized and defined in Western terminology as castes, as a classic example of a society structured on a hierarchical principle. From Dumont's point of view, the castes teach us a fundamental social principle, hierarchy. We, in our modern society, have adopted the principle contrary to it, but it is not without value for understanding the nature, limits and conditions of realization of the moral and political egalitarianism to which we are attached. Why, Dumont asks, should we travel to India if not to try to discover how and in what respects Indian society or civilization, by its very particularity, represents a form of the universal? He points out that modern anthropology does not do justice to the Indian theory of Varna, which it views as a mere relic. Translated by Jafe Arnold, from the book Eschatological Optimism.